I'm getting prepared to move out of a karmic home. Playing in your energy is not going to work out very well for them. And your faith has been so strong, even when things have been going wrong. So someone's moving up out of a home. They're most like you're most likely dealing with some karmic that's playing in your energy. I feel like they're playing your energy because they're trying to confuse you so you don't move out. You're remaining hopeful and faithful with regards to something. You could be getting real close to God at this time or um yeah. They're finding your energy trying to confuse you. Confession. Someone has something to tell you and let go. Make room for the new beginning on its way to you now. You're possibly getting ready to let the person you're living with, you're going to let them know that you're leaving soon. They're depressed and stuff. Is what I'm saying. I'm sensing a lot of teary energies. What spirit's giving me teary energy. They've possibly been crying. Spirit tells me that you've been isolating yourself or something like that in a home. Habits. I don't know if you will ever change. And reciprocity. I want to have equal give and take. <clears throat> this could be this could be an interracial relationship for some of you guys. I'm getting a sense you're about to have some reciprocity or some equal give and take with somebody else. For some of y'all, that's what I'm sensing. It's not this person you're living with. I feel like you're over it and done with the person you're living with. They're, they're trying to keep you trapped. Healing. One day. Shocking. So someone shocked. Turmoil, trouble, unexpected. Something's happening that someone's not expecting. So they're trying to plan your energy for as long as possible to keep you stuck or trapped or try to change your mind. You're releasing them. You've been cleansing, purifying. Some of you guys could be using um, uh, like sinking bowls or crystals somewhere, someday, another time. Yeah, it's like someone's putting off moving. I feel like you're healing or like you're secluded or something in a home or trying to, you're trying to, you're, you're in another location in a home away from a karmic trying to heal or in solitude. Perseverance reversed. They don't want you to persevere. They don't want you to feel like you can do whatever you set your mind to. Yeah, this karmic trying to have control over your mind and your energy and everything. Love. Something with love. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. A higher power or God is going to be um, assisting and in intervening. Door to healing and personal happiness. Okay. 
I'm getting a scent. Somebody is in the home, possibly in another room, closing the door a lot and stuff. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, someone's closing the door a lot. You could be in your 30s. You're trying to get privacy away from them. Happy success reverse and stuck energy. So it's unsuccessful as far as them trying to keep you stuck in a home. They're trying to keep you stuck, powerless, trying to make you feel like you want to stay. They, they want, they're doing stuff with your energy to make you feel like you want to stay stuck with them in a home. I'm getting a sense like you guys are not like, you guys are not hanging out and stuff. You guys are not, you guys are not good. <clears throat> Excuse me. The spirit is telling me something like, <clears throat> Excuse me. The spirit is telling me something like, Someone's going to be given a key back or something like that. Something about a key. You're going to be returning some keys or something like that or a key to them. Page of Swords. There may be somebody in this um, energy or in a home that's immature. Somebody's thinking, yeah, somebody's preparing to have a conversation or to talk. Some of you guys could be in school, college or something. Or studying something. Somebody's thinking a lot about um, a conversation or confessing to their karmic that they're leaving. Four cups reversed, page of pentacles reversed. You've been unhappy for a while, it looks like, withdrawn for a while, could have been depressed. You're very, very unhappy with whoever that is. There's been a lot of procrastination Somebody's been procrastinating a lot or something like that. You're not committed to them. Yeah, somebody's like childish or something. They're trying to stunt your growth. They're trying to they're trying to block your healing and happiness. Six of Swords, Justice reversed. You're trying to sell away move on, move in a new direction, but somebody's not being honest about that. There's some kind of dishonesty or someone's not telling the truth. Someone may not want to be held accountable for something or take responsibility for something. Someone, Something's very unbalanced and someone's not telling them the truth. This is some kind of uh, karmic injustice. This is very, very unhealthy. Magician reverse, they keep constantly doing magic over you. Excuse me. They're constantly doing magic over you or um, dark magic or something with your energy. Playing in your energy is not going to work out very well for them. You guys don't have a... Sorry, the video cut out. So, chariot. Chariot. So, you're eventually going to be moving up out of a home, out of a karmic home. For now, it looks like you've been focused on self-care instead of chasing love. Whoever this is, whoever's healing and stuff like that. It's like they're taking their time. I feel like whoever this is, this is, is not in a rush to leave, but they're dealing with a negative situation. <clears throat> Excuse me, a negative karmic situation. Death reversed. There's a lot of stagnation. Things, it's something's almost over. Things are almost over, or you're almost gonna move out possibly. I feel like you and a karmic is stagnating though. I feel like whoever's trying to leave is purposely stagnating or stalling. Maybe it's a comfort zone or something. I don't know. Um, 
Four of Swords reversed. This karmic that's doing dark magic over you are playing in your energy. They're extremely stressed out, extremely mentally unbalanced, no peace, can't relax, can't sleep. They're having a hard time because you are taking time to yourself or for yourself or healing or solitude or something. They need to go do the inner work. This person I feel like is paranoid about being alone or paranoid about you leaving. Two swords read first. Someone's not confused, they're not conflicted. This karmic thinks they're keeping you confused or they think they're making you feel conflicted or something like that. You're not confused. Two of Wands. Someone's already planning their next move, preparing, getting ready to leave. This person is getting ready to be in the Six of Swords. Seven of Wands are first. They're doing magic to mess with your um, plans or your self-esteem. If you have this karmic blocked out, they're trying to play in your energy to get you to stop being guarded towards them and like interact with them or talk with them or socialize with them or hang out with them or something. They're trying to mess with your confidence and stuff. <clears throat> wow. The key and the anchor. See, that's what I was saying. Number 33 and number 35. You're about to be giving a key back to somebody or something. Or maybe they have to give it back to you. Take it where resonates. That's what I was uh, sensing. <clears throat> Somebody's, you're going to be giving a key back to them. Maybe it's their house that you're living in. Doorway. Integrity, unlocking, closing, opening, thresholds, destiny, certainty, knowing, understanding, insight. So the key and the anchor, they're trying to uh, hold you down and stuff, anchor you down, you're detached. They're trying to weigh you down. They want you to feel weighed down. They want you to stay put. They want you uh, burdened. This person doesn't care how you feel or if you're happy or not. I feel like this person just wants to hold on to you so they don't have to be alone or something. This could be about security, obligations, goals. It could be about some kind of training, stability. They can be trying to hold on to you for security or stability, or you're trying to hold on to them for security or stability. Okay, let's see this energy. Someone's gonna be given a key back or something like that. The whip. Okay, this could be, something else could be about a vehicle. Strife, fighting, perseverance. <clears throat> okay, that's what came out. Perseverance reverse. They don't want you to persevere with something. They don't want you to keep healing. Energy competition. You guys are possibly fighting or there's arguments or tension or something. Somebody be getting ready to give a key back or something. Uh oh. Where'd the card go? Oh. <laughs> okay, give me a second. This fell way down here. Okay, lover reversed. You can no longer be in love with them. This 
Spirit says they're trying to confuse you. Somebody's getting ready to get up in a chariot and go somewhere. Pleasure seekers reversed and melancholy. Someone's depressed. They're depressed because you guys are not hanging out. There's no pleasure. There's no fun. I feel like you're avoiding them and they're trying to confuse you and stuff. Somebody could be fighting over a key. This could be car keys too. This could be a house key or a car key. Take it where it resonates. What else spirit? Somebody's about to be given a key back. Hope reversed. It's hopeless. Something is hopeless with this situation, this living situation. You're about to tell them, you're about to confess and tell them something. A change. Somebody's fighting off a change. Drama. There's a drama. Leo energy. You guys are at odds with each other or something. You may be trying to avoid some kind of drama or avoid a conversation because you don't want some kind of... I feel like someone trying to avoid conflict. I feel like someone trying to... Um, you guys are having a fallout, Spirit says. You're trying to avoid like getting into it or something or a conflict. You can be somebody that avoids conflict and stuff or avoids uh, confrontation. You're trying to avoid something like that. You know, <clears throat> you know, you need to confess or tell them something, something involving a key, possibly for some of you. Endurance reversed. Scorpio energy, sun is Scorpio, this is reversed. This person you're living with is taking your power or something. They've got too much power over you. Something like that. This person doesn't want you to change or transform. This person wants you weak and stuff. They want you weak and childish. You guys could have kids. Decision, protection reversed. Aries energy and Gemini energy, Mars and Gemini, Moon and Aries reversed. Some of you guys are staying with this person because of kids. So it was more with a key anchor. Contentment reversed. You're discontent. Trust reverse is coming out. You don't trust them. They're trying to spin illusions to make you think the opposite with this magician reversed. They're doing magic, planning your energy to make you think that you love them or something or something like that. There's about to be a conversation with this page of swords. Someone's thinking about a conversation or they gotta talk to somebody. This person's about to be peed off with something. <clears throat> yeah, you're about to turn in some keys or something like that. Someone's about to turn in some keys. Yeah, because this person has a curse over you. They keep trying to do curses, hexes over you, witchcraft, or some kind of wizardry if this is a guy. 
negative mindset, boundaries. You're saying no to them, drawing a line, or enough is enough, or you're about to say that. You're about to draw boundaries or something. They're doing curses and stuff over you. You're telling me somebody's always in a room or something. Key anchor. Ship. Competitive environment, sporting events. You're possibly about to ship out or sell away. Some of you guys could be in the, in the military or the Navy or something. You could live on a boat. Okay, so there's it's a competitive environment. The envir it's something with the environment. Somebody's like locking themselves away in a room watching sports for some of you guys. jail yeah you feel like you're in jail you feel like you're in jail or in prison or something incarceration prison justice and punishment they're trying to have you in a fog fog they're trying to mess you up or something Spirit wants me to go over this key energy. They're telling me this key energy is significant. Something with a key. Spirit says they're giving the key back and moving on. Someone's trying to fight it off. Y'all are both trying to fight it off, Spirit's telling me. Y'all guys are both trying to fight off this ending, even though you're miserable. keep flat on the ground and then they keep going way back here oh lord lovers high honor concern they're concerned about your guys' connection relationship some of you guys there's like a soulmate connection outside of a home that could be concerned with Concern. What does this have to do with the key? Commitment. Something about a commitment. They're trying to keep you binded. Binding. Is there binding uh, obstruction contract? 34. There's a lot of 30s here, 33, 34, 35, 11. There's 33 again, 25, 15. What else spirit with a key? Fates reversed. Okay, whoever this is in the home for some of you guys, they're trying to control your fate and they're possibly getting readings done on you and then trying to manipulate something and keep you binded. Curse. Yeah, they're trying to keep a curse on you because they know you're getting ready for something. 
readiness prepared yeah you're what's out is i'm getting prepared to move out of a karmic home so they're watching you with readings is what i'm sensing with this card right here they're trying to control your fate that's pointless because it's like once this person gets ready to have a conversation or some kind of confession Oh, there may be something with love. There may be another relationship. Love, lovers, high honor. I'm getting a sense this, that's like a, a divine connection, a divine soul connection with someone else or another choice, some other choices or something. But it's like, yeah, you're about to give equally you're about to have equal give and take with someone else. You're possibly healing so you can have a connection with someone else. Okay, it's like somebody's about to be given a key to somebody, whether that's car keys or house keys or both maybe. This magic is, is not doing nothing. It's happy success reversed. They're trying to keep you stuck, stuck energy. Once this person gets ready to go, they, they're giving them the keys and, and going. <laughs> this is sad. Someone says you inspire me. They want you in the dark, confused. Somebody's getting ready to call you or text you. Somebody may be getting ready to call you or text you from a fake phone number. Yeah, you're not confused. You're about to get the key back. Somebody you're living with. Some of you guys are living with um, your father or a father figure or some masculine energy. Yeah, you guys' relationship could have ended or it's getting ready to end permanently. Someone says, I need space. See, they're not trying to give you space. I need space. You're feeling like you're in jail or something. Spirit's telling me like you found out what they're trying to do as far as some kind of like, they're trying to trap you and stuff. I need space. Five of Wands. So here's a conflict. Conflict, it's a competitive environment is how it's coming out. Competition, debates, rivalry, disagreement, strife, tension, territorial, clashing egos, and somebody could be being petty. Tensions are very high in home. This is impacting your ability to move forward. They're fighting. They don't want you spending no time alone. Knight to Swords reverse. This person is getting angry and frustrated. Yeah, you guys possibly had a heated argument. This person is really restless, impulsive, unfocused. This like all they can focus on is you. All they can focus on is that you're about to leave. You're about to move up out of a home. Your house is starting to feel like a jail to you or something. A jail cell or something. Somebody could be in a room feeling like they're in a jail cell. I feel like someone's trying to avoid confessing. Let's see this confession energy let go. Somebody's avoiding a conversation because they don't want to, they don't want to fight or something or argue. Or to get into it. it could be a physical fight let's see this confession you've been a hermit energy hermit seven of swords at first you've been soul searching introspection being alone you've been alone healing or something seven of swords reverse it's time for you 
to confess to whoever that is. There's, it feels like that's there's no other way around this, but for someone to come clean and tell the truth to this karmic that's doing magic over you, constantly playing in your energy. What is this shocking? Lovers, you're choosing somebody else. Is this person trying to be with somebody else? Yeah, but it's taken a long time. Knight of Pentacles reversed. It's taken a long time or they're feeling stuck. They're feeling stagnant. You could be struggling to get out of an illusion. They keep trying to place some kind of curse over you. It seems like every day. This person's trying to keep you in a hex. Yeah, three of wands and the fool. They're, they're a fool. You're preparing to leave. 